On the 15th of October, as part of Local Democracy Week, we commissioned Voluntary Norfolk to put on a training programme to help community leaders understand how the city as a whole works. So there were representatives from the City Council and the County Council highlighting the differences between those organisations, from the police, from health and from the voluntary sector. And the aim was that those potential community leaders would understand better and therefore be able to help and support people in their community who want to find out how the city operates. And it was also to try and get people to understand that they can make a difference themselves to what happens in the City Council by the way they vote on, on polling day. So it was about raising awareness of our work, but it was also about saying to people, actually, you've got power and influence in this city and you can go and use it every year when you go to the polling station. So Local Democracy Week is an initiative that the City Council have run for several years now and they viewed us as ideal partners really because we're in touch with a large number of voluntary and community organisations throughout the city who have a, uh, an aim or an objective to influence local decisions. For example, they might represent a particular health group or perhaps older people, younger people um, and they'll have an active, they want to have an active say in how decisions are made locally. So because the, the aim of the training event was to help people understand how they can make a difference, each of the presenters talked about the way they are accessible to people, how people can influence their work. And those that attended came from a broad range. There were some that are currently community activists, but there were equally people who just wanted to find out and may well, I hope, in the future, decide that they wanted to get engaged as well. The first presentation we received on the day was from uh, City Councillor Mike Stonard, uh, who really um, welcomed people and gave an idea about how the City Council works, how um, local democracy works here in the city. And then we had a presentation on democracy and local government, uh, a joint presentation from Andy Ems from City Council and from Chris Walton uh, representing Council County Council. And they talked about how people could influence decisions not only at a city level but also at county level. Uh, we then received a presentation from uh, Superintendent Paul Sanford who talked about the importance of people influencing police decisions and how much the police really wanted to involve local people in decisions. Uh, we moved on to a presentation on, uh, from the new Health Clinical Commissioning Group, Laura McCartney-Gray and James Elliott, who uh, are very, very keen to involve local people in the new commissioning arrangements for health services in the city. And finally, uh, my colleague Linda Rogers spoke about Voluntary Norfolk and about the huge diversity of voluntary and community organisations throughout the city and the massive contribution that they make. Well, I've had time to look at the evaluations from the day and the great comments that people made. And I know that um, as a result of the event, people have have come away feeling that they know more about the um, decision making mechanisms in the city and more about how to get involved in decision making and also that their confidence in doing so has increased as well. So I think in summary we were really really pleased with how this the first event went and as a result we plan to run further events uh, here in the city and they'll be advertised on both the City Council and the Voluntary Norfolk websites. Anybody living in the city can make a difference to the quality of life in the city. They can speak to their ward councillors, they can go along and vote on election day, or because of the process that we've set in train through the, the programme that Voluntary Norfolk have delivered as part of Local Democracy Week, they can access health, police, social care, county council, city council or the voluntary sector because of that information. So anybody that wants to find out about what's going on in the city, how the city works, what difference they can make, then I would just urge them to contact the city council who can put them in touch with those people that they can work with to make a real difference. Yeah.